All right, everybody, here we are in Pekon, the royal city in Pahang. Oh, yeah. The place where Istana Abu Bakar is, mm -hmm. which is the palace we just visited where the former Sultan of Pahang lived. That's right. Funny that the palace is now empty because that Sultan's son is now the Sultan who has a new palace. <laughs> so it's kind of a vast and beautiful property that's empty. You can see the grass is kind of overgrown and there's nobody around. Also funny that the word Bakar to me means barbecue. So when oh. I saw the sign, I thought it was like barbecue palace. <laughs> Istana Abu Bakar. So that was interesting. Barbecue Abu Right palace. next to the palace is the Royal Pahang Polo Club. So we wandered through a bit. Also interesting, the place is empty. This palace and all the grounds around it are pretty deserted mm -hmm. as the sun has his own palace. Yeah. So we checked out the gigantic polo fields, never realized how big they were. We saw some horses in the stables. The stables are huge and there might be 10 or 15 horses there, so most of them are not used. Mm -hmm. uh, I saw the size of a polo ball for the first time in my life. <laughs> Very small. Imagine trying to hit that ball with a stick when you're on horseback. That's Seems right. hard. There was an old steam train. Steam engine, yeah. yeah. So we quickly walked around a steam engine and now we're here. We are at the museum which would be really incredible for us. You know I love museums, but unfortunately closed. Yeah. So, so far we're having a tough go in Pecan. The first place we went was empty <laughs> and the drone is broken again, not flying properly. Oh, so yeah. it's been a rough morning to be clear. Mm -hmm. Museum is closed, but the reason we came to Pecan was a couple days ago, we tried this really internationally famous, not internationally, locally National. famous dessert that everyone was telling us about called mango cheesecake. <laughs> Oh. Happy, happy, happy days. Wow. Happy. It's almost like ice cream cake. It's mm. frozen. All right. I could go for it not being frozen. Mm. It's really good. It's cheesecake. But um, maybe I expect it better. Really? I like it because it's not too sweet. It's not too sweet, but it's, it's just mango cheesecake. Mm. It's really good, but it's not... Worth the line up worthy, I would say. All right, not line up. Sorry to be me. critical, but maybe I thought, oh my gosh, the line up down the street, this is gonna be like the best thing you ever had. It's just mango cheesecake. Hmm. All right. Still good though. Still good. Yummy. I can't speak much. So to be honest, like we said, it was kind of overrated. Overrated. It was just cheesecake. So yeah. we thought, you know, what would be better in Malaysia, some local dessert something kind of locally famous. Cheesecake is certainly, is cheesecake American? I think I it's American. I think so, I think it's not, definitely not a Malaysian delicacy. Exactly, certainly not Malaysian. So we figured let's try some local dessert. What in Pahang is famous local dessert? It's called Pudding Raja. Ooh, from Pekan actually. Or King's Pudding, which is actually from this town of Pekan. Yeah, so we just got it. we have it here. It uh, looks street. like there's some custard, some bananas, some jelly. Let's try a picnic in front of the museum. Yeah. Pudding Raja. Oh, it's kind of, it costs six ringgit from just across the street. Is it cheese? It looks like it, right? No, so, not cheese. So, we got some banana, fried banana. Fried banana. I don't know what these are. It looks like cheese. It's not cheese. But I don't think so. And some jelly. Some jelly, Hello. raisins maybe. Hi. Hello. I'm the one, the, uh, the MU. Azar? Azar. Yes. Hello. I wow, guys. We're sitting in the park and our friend comes along and gives us a gift. Oh, wow. <laughs> what Thank could you. be better than that? Steve, look what you got. So I got a songcock. Yes. <laughs> Purple songcock. <laughs> and this. Very key nice chain. and a handmade keychain. Yeah. What could be better? Thank you so much. Wow. We were just saying that we've had a slow morning trying to find out what to do in Pakan and then we come and get gifts. We were Look just at that. about to try the pudding, Raja. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, uh, yeah. Fits? Is it right size? Looks good. It sits on top, right? Uh, it doesn't yes, go all yes, the way yes, down. Yeah. Maybe your head is a little bit big. My head is big, but it's, the sock <laughs> is big as well. Uh, Here you have it. Wow. It's nice. Biggest size, huh? <laughs> nice. Do I look cool, Ivana? <laughs> Biggest size, right? Because that day I saw you, you open the gift, you got the sarong. Ah. Kain, here ah. we call it kain pelikat. Kain pelikat. Ah. Okay. Now I got a sarong, I got a Betty shirt, and I got a song card. Complete ah. outfit. <laughs> Complete outfit. So, special thank you to Azza. Yay! 
<laughs> what could be better than a song cock in the park? Thank you, Aza. All right, guys, back to trying. <laughs> <laughs> we just got a nice, a really nice subscriber mm. coming, gave us some gift. It, see, it was very nice. So. Come on, what could be better? Let's okay, try go for it, Ivana. Don't wait. And some okay. custard. And some custard. Which looks very liquidy. Hold okay, on. good. Before we pour the custard, I want to know what these. Yellow try looking it, thing. Try it. I don't know what it is. Let me try. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Tastes like orange? Citrus? No, I think egg. Oh, maybe egg. I got yeah. no idea. You're gonna pour that on there? Mm hmm. Okay, slow mo. Ready? Yeah. Oh yeah. This is called that. King's Pudding. King's Pudding. I think it's named King's Pudding because the royal family likes it very much. True fact. I think. My only experience with King's is uh, the King of Fruits, which is durian, which is amazing. <laughs> King of Fruits. So high That's expectations right. going in. All right, yeah. Ivana, stop the late. Just go eat. Ooh, guys. Fried banana Fried with banana. custard, uh, and egg some yellows, jelly. and jellies. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh. Eat it, eat it. Good, bad, the custard different. is really good. You can just drink the custard by itself. Really? <laughs> this is really good, Steve. You must try this. Mm. Really? It mm -hmm. looks uh, confusing. Mm -hmm. A little bit alarming. Ivana seems to be enjoying it. Look at you go. <laughs> try it. Okay, let me try. Oh, what is this? Is, it, is this a date? Maybe. It looks like it, or raisins or something. Dried fruit. Here we go. Eating raja pudding and a songcock. <laughs> nice one. You're Malaysian, man. I am now. Okay, here we go. So uh, we got the fried banana. It's I've good. Had, it's had, quite good. I've had fried banana by itself, but never together. Mm. It's quite good. The most strongest flavor is banana flavor from yeah. the fried banana. But you can just go for a scoop like this and go no bananas in it. That's true. Which is uh, custard and some jelly crunch. Quite nice way. actually. The jelly is sweet. Yeah, leave one for me. Uh, mm. By the way, mm. when you buy fried banana, it's good, Ivana. just by itself, it's like super cheap. But I'm not sure why putting raja costs six ringgit. It's mm. kind of expensive, I think. Kind of expensive is a two point. Yeah. Kind of expensive. Let's try this thing. There's only one of these in the whole dish. I feel like it's a date. I feel like it's a date. I think it's a date. Mm, maybe not. <laughs> like raisins. It's like raisins, but big one. Okay. There you have maybe, it. Yeah. So you want some more, Ivana? Because I can finish this. It's uh, quite nice. Leave me one. I'll give this five stars. It's nice. Five stars. The custard is really good. Yeah. The custard is good. And then uh, the jelly, the green jellies, this is a very non North American kind of thing. Lots of this in Chendol and ABC, right. the mushy stuff. It reminds me of the cherries in uh, in Canadian. Oh, maraschino cherries. Yeah. Good point. But the, the jelly stuff is not my favorite. But uh, mm -hmm. the banana and the custard goes well together. Yeah. It is an improvement over fried banana, and fried banana is good already. That's true. So there you have well, it. I really like the custard. Mm. It's like really not too sweet, really nice. I think the songcock makes it taste better. <laughs> right? Okay. <laughs> I think so. Looking good is part of feeling good, you know? Come on. Nice, Steve. All right. I'm worried it's a bit small. I think it's too small. Damn, my head is too big. It's just gonna fall if you uh, move your head. Move your if head. I were to sit in the car, it would hit the top of the car. <laughs> right? It looks good, though. Nice one. There it you have it, guys. Special thank you to Azra. Right. Special thank you to her. That was amazing. <laughs> she just walked up and said hello. I was like, what's happening? <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> hello. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Vana, last one for you. I can All go right. for one more of these. It's nice. I'm actually really enjoying it. Mm -hmm. Sincere five well, stars. Don't eat too much. Mm. Oh yeah, because there's more food we're trying in Pecan. What's the next meal, Ivana? Mm. We want to try something called opor. Opor. Mm -hmm. What's that? Um, I think it's some kind of um, Malaysian, another Malaysian curry dish, maybe? No, okay. I cannot say curry. Maybe gravy mm. or stir-fried. Okay. Mm -hmm. Opor. Yeah. 
It's from Pecan, I'm of ready. course, a specialty of Pecan. Since we're here, we have to try it. Hope we can find it. We can mm. find it, I'm sure. Look at that. Museum. Nice day. Mm -hmm. Also, guys, we are driving around today on a road trip with a family of our subscriber. That's right. So we've been having a pretty great time. Although we haven't done much, it's kind of been slow. Uh, it's been nice. It's always nice to meet a new guy and talk to him and his wife and get to know uh, all the different stories of growing up. So really good so far. Hoping for more action in Pecan. Pecan. Yeah, a lot of people recommend us to come here. We really didn't know what to do around other than the museum right here, mm. which is closed. Closed. And trying putting Raja and Opor. So hopefully we can find some Opor today. Six ringgits, five stars. Nice. All right, Opor. Quite beautiful, right? Yeah. What is it made of? Uh, it's made of wood. wood. So cool. in this state, they love polo so much. Their state museum would have uh, wooden horses. Wow, cool. There you have it. Okay, Opor. Okay, guys. Waring uh, Pekan Lama. I'm sure this is not right. <laughs> How do I do this? Okay. Uh, Warung Pekan Lama for some Opor. Okay, let's see if they have it. Then they don't cook Opor. Oh, not today. Not okay. today, Ivana. Uh, okay, we keep looking. Okay, so it's 2 p.m. or 2.15, so we probably missed Opor for the day. Mm -hmm. Bit of a fail. But there is another pick on specialty, Murtabak. Uh, Makassar. Makassar. So we'll go look for that. All right, let's go. Let's travel, baby. Let's try. All right, guys, Murtabak Mangasar. The idea is it's like a rectangle of talur, bawang, and daging egg, beef, and onion, fried on both sides. And then I guess they wrap it in what I would call roti chanai. He spins the roti chanai, puts it in the middle, and then uh, you get it like this in a big rectangle. This is uh, special. Wow, okay. So biasa, so this is biasa and special. special. Yeah. It's topped with eggs. More spices more eggs. and more eggs. And I think we have one coming with cheese. And when the guy makes one with cheese, he puts lots of cheese on there. He's not cheap with the cheese. He's putting it on there like he stole it. So it uh, looks really good. It's almost like, a, in a way, it's almost like a burger. Beef, onion, bread, egg, put some cheese in there, cheeseburger, and you have it with have it with curry. So it looks really good. I'm absolutely positive I will love this. I mean, what could be better? And this is pickled onion? Yeah. By the way, guys, if you want locals to stare at you as a white guy, wear a song cock. <laughs> That's okay. That's life. Okay, okay here goes. It's really good. You can eat it. It's amazing. Day. You want it. I can eat this every single day. Try it with it's the, like roti chanai. Um, it's like roti chanai meets murtabak. Mm. It's really good, Ivana. With uh, with curry and, and yeah. onions. Uh, it's really good, Ivana. Mm. It's crispy on the outside. Oh, the pickled onion is even better. Mm. I can eat a whole thing to myself. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's really good, Ivana. This is seriously one of the best things I've had in Malaysia. Most craveable. It's bread and beef and onions. Most craveable. I'm gonna have a lot of this, like like eight pieces. It's so you really, really good. Like it. Amazing. Six stars. Oh, break, break the scale. Really good with curry and the pickled onions is what brings it home. Oh, so thick. Look at that. It's so thick, Ivana. So this is a uh, special. Yeah. Which has more beef, more onions, more egg more spices. Look at that, Ivana. This is so good. It's like a curry burger. Curry mm. burger. This is so good. This is better than a Ramly burger. Oh, is it better yes. than Ramly burger? Well, I don't know. I think the meat is uh, real, not processed like burger. Mm. Mm. It's so good, Ivana. The onions is the best is the best part. Yeah. The pickled onion really just bring it home. Uh, mm. I can't wait for the cheese one. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at that. I like mine bungee. Wow, it looks like lasagna almost. <laughs> it looks so good. Mm. Mm. Martabak. We actually have a similar one in Indonesia, but with different sauce dipping. We have it with soy sauce, vinegar, chili, and mix it with a bit of sugar. Different dipping sauce. This one is with curry. They're both good. 
Wow, Steve. So okay. inside is actually real cheese, and on top, cheese sauce. Yeah. Go for it, Ivana. Don't be shy. Will you put curry on your cheese? I think so. Okay, go Look for it. This. Curry and cheese. I've never had curry and cheese before. First time. First time having curry and cheese and some onion. Pickled onion. Mm. Honestly, I have to say, speaking as a North American, looks so good. Beef, yeah. onion, cheese. Oh my Who god. Who doesn't like cheese? Ugh. Oh, that's what I wanted to see. Some this stringy is, cheese. Reminds me of pizza. Pizza. Like Malaysian oh, pizza. Oh, yeah, Ivana. You're going to love this. Oh. Okay, some more onions. Of course, onions. I finished all the pickled onions. Anything with vinegar is so good. Okay, Ivana, don't be shy. All right. One big bite. Wow. <laughs> wow, it looks so good. Funny that you have vinegar and curry in the same dish because the vinegar actually kind of repels the curry. Do you know what I mean? They don't mix, but uh, they go together. They go together really well. They go together so well. Oh, oh, it looks man. like lasagna slash pizza slash burgers slash burgers slash roti slash martabak. Wow. There you have it. Look at it, stacked high. Piled up like lasagna. Okay. <laughs> the cheese one is the best one by far. Yeah. It's so heavy. To be fair, the cheese sauce is a little extra for me. The real cheese inside is all you need. Yeah. The cheese sauce is a little bit extra, but I mean, it's really good. This is like uh, savory, delicious, this would be like food you have after a breakup. You feel sad, you go for a whole cheese martabak. Oh, it's so good, Ivana. Wow. And by the way, mm. special thanks to Asna. Yeah. Thank you and Take family. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys. Yeah. The best. I think I have more Malaysian friends than Canadian friends now. <laughs> no way. You're making more and more friends by day. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mmm, Mona. This is so good. This is so good. This cheese on top, it tastes really similar to uh, nacho cheese in Canada. Do you agree? That's that true. fake cheese, it's, I don't really like it because it's so fake, but it's actually so yummy. I could go for some more real cheese and less cheese sauce, but that is a really familiar taste of the nacho cheese. It's so good. Comes out of a packet, it's like goopy stuff. But this right here with curry on top and the onions, this is really good eating. Plus, our new friends here in Malaysia, come on. What could be better? <laughs> what could be better than this? Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Yeah! Thank you guys. All right, there you have it, guys. I'm so stuffed, I can't even walk straight. Mm -hmm. This happens every day in Malaysia. Oh. <laughs> wow. Good what thing it's not my healthy week. <laughs> so. Hey. Today was really the same story as our whole entire Malaysia trip. We didn't know what to expect. Got off to a rocky start because of COVID. Yeah. Just like our Malaysia trip in general. And then the locals picked us up and made it great. Just yes. like our Malaysia trip. Uh, exactly. The local saved us once again. Absolutely Thank right. You. Thank you to Azra for the Songkok. Mm hmm looking like a stud and then obviously thank you to Asnel and his family really really great yeah we struggled in the morning with the palace being empty the museum being closed but we yeah. still had a great day but do you feel like it's a royal town here in Pakan uh, or do you feel like it's just an, an irregular campo or I was town? disappointed the whole palace area was empty and kind of not used anymore I was hoping there'd be lots mm. of action happening people playing polo whatever it might be right. but in the end I had a great day yeah, it's we ate really like good. kings. We tried some new food. Yeah, I was a little bit disappointed that we couldn't find opor, considering it's the food in Pakan. I fact. thought it would be more common to find, but it was harder to find opor. But I'm so happy we ended up here. Honestly, Ivana, I'm trying to listen to you, but I'm just looking at myself in the sunglasses. <laughs> I'm happy. Anyway, I'm happy we ended up eating martabak here. 
Which was really, really excellent. Really, excellent really Marcella. great. Special thanks to our friends, Azra and Aznel. Special yeah. thanks to Malaysia for being full of nice people. Yeah. There you have it, guys. What else can we add? Lots more good stuff coming. A road trip with our friends coming soon. Oh, yeah. uh, Ken abroad, travel, grammars. grammars, and food and footprints. Not food and footprints, sorry. Only travel grammars, Ken abroad. <laughs> but uh, there you have it, guys. All right. Lots more good stuff to come as we waddle our way to the car full of martabak. <laughs> Bye, guys.